And most veterans will tell you that they don't regret their service, even if they had a rough time, and uh, you know they don't they don't regret it. But for the people who serve their country, who are doing their duty in a war as contentious as Vietnam, it was a huge mistake for America to blame and point the finger at some of those guys. And people were really badly treated in some cases. I truly do believe America abandoned us as Vietnam veterans. One of the things I'm very proud of, it's not known, well known at all, but the Vietnam Veterans Against the War, which I later became part of, did an enormous amount of work with veterans. It started sessions where vets could sit around and talk to other vets to work through the nightmares and to deal with the stress of returning to a country that didn't welcome you and didn't say thank you. I suppose learning about PTSD, the majority of us to come back initially complaining about these symptoms that no one knew anything about. I mean, I guess World War One, Two, Korean War, they were talking shell shock. It was many years later that they actually recognized PTSD and started treating it. I do truly believe that America treats veterans much, much, much better. And a lot of them now, I've been given apologies. I guess most people now can relate to it because they have relatives in the military and that makes it a lot better. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.